afternoon. Welcome to the Panther Power Hour. This is Kathleen Smith. And Ryan Markham. Bringing you your news. Two hours from now, the school bell will ring. And we will be free from this place until April 4th. AKA spring break starting today. Mr. Brock's Travel Club has now reached the great country of Italy. They'll be touring Assisi, Florence, and Rome. They'll be seeing such things as the Vatican, the Sistine Chapel, and many museums that hold much of the Renaissance art. Any freshman that wants to join the Travel Club to go overseas in 2013 can see Mr. Brock after spring break. This just in. The junior high academic team wrapped up its season this past Monday at the state finals Governor's Cup competition in Lexington. The quick recall team finished in the top 16 in the state, and the following team members finished in the top 20 of over 1,200 competitors statewide at the tournament. Ahmad Mansour, Noor Ali, Adil Youssef, and Michael Gaunt. Throughout the season, the team competed with and defeated top magnet school teams, high school teams, and placed in numerous statewide and national tournaments. And now I'm here with Madison Nighthawk Coleman. Hey. On Monday night, the Lady Panthers softball team defeated McGoffin County at McGoffin County. And on Tuesday night, the Lady Panthers also defeated Prestonsburg at Prestonsburg. Tonight, our boys will be playing at home at 5.30 against Johnson Central. On Tuesday night, the Pikeville College Bears captured the NAIA National Championship. Tonight, the Cats will be in action in Newark, New Jersey at 9.45 against the Ohio State Buckeyes. It's now time to honor those everyday heroes and make America so great. This week's new show is dedicated to coal and the hardworking men and women that mine coal. Yeah, but, but, but there's nothing wrong with a hard hat and a hat. Kind of blue and sticks this world together. And the steel and cradle of the promised land. God bless the working man. From the time there was man, there was coal. It gives us energy to sustain our population. The first documented mining of coal in the United States took place in 1748, where they excavated 50 tons of coal. Well, boys, it's time. Annually, we produce over 1 billion tons per year in over 38 states. I don't know where I'm going, but I sure know where I'm going. In 1750, Dr. Thomas Walker was the first recorded person ever to use coal in Kentucky. Oh my goodness, I may have finally got it. Screwdriver! Scissors! Water! Chocolate bar! Dang it! By George, I've got it. Oh. Due to the use of other resources in today's society, coal's popularity has decreased. I hate this game. Whoa, 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 freeze. What? Okay. Why don't all the lights go out? My, my iPhone's not working. This is a problem. Um, something must have happened with the coal. It. The, the coal? I have the last piece. Hey, <laughs> my iPhone works now. <laughs> Mining at a steady pace. Getting black dust all over my face. Food on my table. Keeping my family stable. But I'm working for more than a check. Getting my kids things they love like Shrek. All these green lovers talking smack. But we are running this country, so get off our back. All those big cities don't understand. They just don't get what coal means to our land. My dad and my grandpa brought me up to loving coal. They invested in me, that great Appalachian soul. Obama might not condone. But this is an extremely important black stone. Coe has given more than just an opportunity. It has created this special community. Good switching to Pikeville really saved you 15% or more in your education. Did curiosity kill the devil? Oh my gosh, what is that music? I can't 
jogar papo até aqui, assim que é assim. Olha essa bicha aqui. Chicken nuggets! <risos> Hey, uh, I'm here with Delaney Hackney, and uh, I just wanted to ask your opinion on coal. It's, it's good. Is it, is it good? It's good. Um, do, you, do you have anybody in your family that works with coal? Yeah. Yeah, you do? Um, what do they do exactly? He's a superintendent at Massey. Oh, he's a superintendent. The big bucks. No. You can get that with coal. Um, yeah. Well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Hi, I'm here with... Kaylee Markham. Kaylee Markham, and do you support coal? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right then. Hi, I'm here with Jenna Bartley. <laughs> do you support coal? Yes. Well, there we go. <laughs> so how do you feel about coal? I love coal. He loves coal. All right then, thank you. So I'm here with uh, Weston Clevenger. Sexy man, looks kind of like me to be exact, just tell you. And I just want to ask you, do you support coal? Yes, I do. Friends of coal for life. But how do you feel about alternative energy, such as nucle nuclear power? <laughs> uh, very good. I mean, if it if it helps the world, I'm all for it. I like that. That's that's. Uh, <laughs> He's a man so, of many reasons. Are you pro coal or anti coal? Kind of both, but uh, you know, whatever way it goes. What? What did you for the new show? Just come on, just come over here and look pretty like these guys are. Okay? <coughs> what? How's your day been, um, everybody? It's just, Hello. Uh, Hello. What? You're on. <laughs> <laughs> Fine Arts class received live dance lessons this week from Miss Tiffany Owen. They danced the Jitterbug and the Reel. Ah, push it. Push it real good. You okay? Hey, bro, you got any toilet paper? Whoa, what are you doing? Sorry. Oh, oh I should have ate that. Ah! This is Kathleen Smith. And Ryan Markham. Coming to you from our studio in room 218. Have a great day.